Okay, we have one last epic miniature haul. This is part six. This is this, sh this is going to be the last epic one for a while. I hope for sure. Coming up after this. Okay, this might be some repeat things. I don't know if I've shown all of the stuff before, but why not show you again? I have more of these pearls. I thought I couldn't find any more of these, and they're not like normal beads. They don't have the holes in them, and I love using these as bathtub bubbles. So I just have a huge collection of a jar of them. I think that's actually right here. It is. I'm just gonna make a disaster of everything right now. So I have this many. I like to fill up like these things and make bathtubs. It just looks so convincing. And it's actually, I never found ones. Well, I would just get the ones they were all pearl color. But these ones have silver and pink so I can kind of do different themed bathtubs because I baths because I usually do different ones all the time I've done a couple so far for pictures for Instagram follow Slate in the City on Instagram or Two Honky on Instagram to see some of these diorama pictures for sure I didn't say that in my last two videos but you'll definitely want to do that anyway I'm going to add these to my pearly collections to make a big bubbly pearly bath. Oh yeah, you can see the bigger ones that are in there. So that's nice to have. What else do I have down in here? This is a repeat. I don't think I hauled these. I might have not I might have not hauled these actually. Erasers. I showed some Easter erasers in my last haul. This time we have these words. I've snuck these into my dioramas before without hauling them. Then put them up on the shelf just because they're cute little words. But again, they're the 80s colors that look so good with slate and new Barbie of 2021. So yeah, great colors for that. And then look, there's even a swear word in there. So they're going to look real cute. Cute, cute words to put up on the shelf. Hugs, love, cute, kiss. That's going to be good for a Halloween room. I mean, a Valentine's Day room. I hope I do get around to one. What's the date? We're so close to Valentine's Day. I'm going to have to do it really soon. We have cool, hero, yeah, stop. And we have erase and beep and funny and play. Cute and black. I like that. That's probably will show up well on a white shelf. A couple stuff left, a couple things left over from Christmas. Um, some just jute and it's red and it's really nice. I'm gonna just put that away for Christmas. Wrap up brown paper parcels. I bought some of these lanterns. I had some of these before, but these ones are smaller. I do like to pull out the lanterns every once in a while. The cords kind of bother me. It's you know. It's a, when things are hanging around, sometimes it just, I don't know, I don't want too many things hanging around, so I end up always taking down the lights, even though they just look so, so cute. I guess, you know what, they were knocking over my last diorama walls because I didn't have the corners like I did with these ones. I hope you've checked out my DIY video on how to make those. But yeah, and you know what, I'm probably going to enjoy these a lot more. Now that I have my sturdy walls that are going to fall, I can just naturally hang them and always have beautiful lights glowing. Oh, this isn't one that has a test me. Some of them do have test me. But yeah, that's, that's going to look really cute. I guess I should have had these out for Chinese New Year. I got little umbrellas. You always see these drink umbrellas, but never in gold. Come on, these look really cool. And I found these from a warehouse, 75 cents. I think that they could decorate a room for our holidays. But this is also from that weird warehouse. It's a little barbecue. There's some miniatures on here, plates, apron. Slate can definitely enjoy that. That's gonna look real cute for miniatures. 
McDonald's had these Jurassic dinosaurs for a while. This one I think I found on the street or something. Yeah, I did. I picked it up and I washed it off because we're in a pandemic. But I think that I might have all of the same ones. Who knows? Trash the world at McDonald's. They had tiny little dinosaurs. They didn't last long. I don't understand. You can't really go to McDonald's in the pandemic. And when things are shut down, it's already weird. Okay, I found these things. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but sometimes you just find little metal tiny things and think that one day I'm going to have a purpose for this. So that's why I bought these mason jar. Oh, there, I guess they're for to put flowers in vases. But I'm gonna find a purpose for these. I know I am. I just, I really like them. They spark joy for some reason. Little metal, cool, they look old fashioned. Even if I hang one on a wall, I think I would be happy with that. Oh, good. Uh, these come in a few different sizes, so I didn't know if I got the smaller one. These are great little containers and they're going to look authentic because of what size they are. So perfect. And also I got these bottles to get the corks out and put them in the my... Oh. I told you this in the last video. I need extra corks to put in these crocs, which are my favorite things that I've ever put together for my diorama. But I need somewhere to put those sparkly little gems. So that's going to be perfect to hold those in. But there's always tiny little things that you need to store stuff in. I've also been saving my silica gel every time they have that and I pour it into the little bottles to look like, you know, lentils on the shelf or something. This is something that I got from a dollar store that's far away that I went to. And I have hauled this before, but it's really nice and it matches a lot of the things that I have. And then here is a unicorn, which I also hauled before. But I don't really like unicorns. But it is really, really cool. And you can put batteries in it and it lights up. So that's awesome. Okay. I'm gonna have to finish the haul video this time. Whoa. Let's see. I showed these, I think, the last time. I think I'm gonna use them as shower curtains. They're totally slates things with the pink flamingos and the cactuses. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. They're bags, but I think I'm just, uh, even if I take pictures with them, they're cool. They were only like a dollar. I found incredible uh, craft book paper. These are great scenes for backdrops. And I am so happy to take pictures on front of these. Look, it's a snow scene. 25 different, every single one is totally usable. I'm so excited about that. That butterfly one is the least usable. I hope I don't wreck them. And then this one, totally slate colors and slate vibe. Look, there's more of those feathers and leaves, arrows, very prehistoric, totally slate colors. Uh, I can't believe how awesome that paper is. I could do a video of just showing you um, the scrap of paper. And I think there's a few other things that I was gonna do like that. I bought more of these cutting boards because they're the perfect floor. The boards are nice and thin, so they work out. I guess I'm gonna put right across this whole table. I also have the diorama going back into here. So I kind of do need floor extensions and stuff for stuff like that. But I got a couple more of those. excited about these. These are, again, slate colors. I don't know what these are for. This is something else that I'm not sure. They might be able to be built. At the very least, they could be scrunchies or, I don't know, I think I'm going to be able to find something great for them. The colors were perfect and I needed some of these uh, dusty rose and sea foams to go together and then the black and the gray and the white. I knew that I would uh, do something that I'm going to be able to use those for. If anything, I could use them as bracelets for myself. Totally into black bracelets, plus plastic bracelets. 
Okay, more soap dishes. Did I, I think the soap dishes I showed him last time, I'm going to use this as a bath mat. These, these can be like lawn furniture or fences. Or, I think the possibilities are endless for these. I love when I find new bamboo things. But yeah, baby gate. Just a little garden gate. So many, so many possibilities for these. And then I found these little wood blocks. I mostly got these to use little, little um, binder clips that I have to make old fashioned clipboards. But, I can use them in the designs of some walls, and I think I'm going to find all kinds of uses for these little wooden shapes. The square ones were the ones that I chose. I was hoping they had rectangles, but they didn't have them. Um, these I got so long ago, probably two or three. Valentine's Day ago, but these are going to be Valentine's Day cards for Slate. I definitely have to do a room all of these dinosaurs in different colors. And then these ones I found this year, and this foam, look how good that's going to look. This kettle, this alarm clock, and this purse, and this ghetto blaster. These are erasers, but they make such great and so many cool erasers. more things. This is going to be the longest one because I need to finish this off. I got these at Walmart and these are really cool plants. We got two or three dollars from the aquarium section, from the pet section, and they're 80s supernatural plants. I thought I could use them for Masters of the Universe dioramas. I thought they would look great for slate. They're 80s colors. They're translucent. They look like dinosaurs. There's something in there. Um, I found these in my basement. I had them in one of my boxes. I don't know where I'm going to use those letters before, but I mean, I bought them a long time ago to use them. This is probably my best find of all. Little, tiny tackle boxes. When I saw them, they look like hard case luggage, and they're so nice. Now this little clip that looks like a handle, when that clips down, that holds it in place. But I think all I need is just get one of my nice little straps that I have, and then you're going to have it like a suitcase strap, because you always should put one of those on your suitcase anyway, because they do come undone. But they have little handles. They look so good in slate hand, and inside they have little compartments, and they fold and open like that, so I can store stuff in them, and they're just going to look like really smart, hard-shelled luggage. Yeah, that was a great find. And the rest of the stuff I showed before. So I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this massive, epic, six-part diorama, hall, explosion, phenomena. It was crazy. I love you. We'll see you next time. So if you want to see all of this stuff put into action, you're definitely want to gonna follow Too Hunky, and you're definitely want to gonna follow Slate in the City, all one word, and you're gonna see pictures of all of these things mixed into dioramas and whatnot. And plus, I gotta do videos. I gotta. They're gonna be room decorating videos. Which things do you want to see me use in a video? of a diorama.